Welcome to your love reading for July 2021. Um, so you know the general rule. If it feels right, follow your gut. If it resonates, keep it. If it doesn't, let it go. Um, I will be, I just released the monthly readings for July. You can go ahead and look back in my channel for that to get kind of a reading on everything from career to relationships, just a general overview um, of July for you. And then hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of more readings in the future. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. Okay, so just a oracle card to start with. We're gonna get two. We're gonna get from the Romance Angels for Aries and we're gonna get these love messages. So where's Aries for July 2021? This one. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. Cool, we'll keep that over here. You know what I like about that is um, just by reflecting, you're manifesting, right? Because you're feeling the feels, you're, you're feeling the things. When you reflect on a moment that made you feel love, you kind of go back there. And when you can go back there, you can project it into the future, right? You can manifest it. All right, Romance Angels. This one. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. That's interesting. Sounds like working through stuff, you know? It'll be interesting to hear what the cards have to say for you, Aries, because already this has a, a feeling of, you know, there's this this card over here um, talking about the love and message of reflecting, reflecting on when it was good, when it felt right, reflecting on that love that you felt. And then we've got this card over here saying heart to heart conversations, discussing. So we'll see, let's, let's get from the Rider Wade mini centennial version. possibly healing a little bit and possibly getting some attention. We're going to get some clarity on that. I'm asking the cards right now, where is Aries currently at in love? We're going to get some there we are. Okay. Got Hermit and the King of Wands coming out with a star card. This kind of feels like debating. It feels like waffling between like, do I stay or do I go? Or like, where do I stand with this? Let's get one more for that. Temperance. Yeah, definitely kind of a transformative phase of, of healing. Um, but not like a, a wounded creature um, victim healing. It's more kind of like, um, did I waste my time with this? Am I wasting my time with this? And um, I want to say, what, are, what are, where is Aries be being beckoned towards? We've got two characters here. We've got Knight of Cups and we've got Knight of Swords. One is impulsive, uh, I'm more on the impulsive side. When they make up their mind, they just, they go for it. Sometimes they ask questions later. Uh, they shoot from the hip, ask questions later. They've got um, a lot of confidence. Sometimes they even act before they know all the details or they say things before they know all the details. Um, and they might be quite bold in their speech. Um, and then we've got, and, and you know, swords are a heady energy, right? They, um, they're communicative. They can be sometimes sharp with their words. They um, can analyze a situation quickly. Um, we, then we've got Knight of Cups, and this is an individual who is, you know, the cups are, are ruled by the water signs. And Knight of Cups is kind of a feeler. And 
he's a little slower and thinks from his heart space, makes his decisions more for his heart space. Um, for some of you, so, some of you guys are going to recognize this character as um, a creative individual and um, a compassionate individual for sure. So these are two opposite energies here, but you know where I've placed them in the spread. This area is all about what to go towards. So I'd like to a little one more card on that. What to go towards for Aries. And then we've got King of Swords. This could be another character. Usually when you get Knights, Kings, and Queens, you know they're people, but King of Swords is a problem solver. So this could be conjuring up the energy of the King of Swords where it's like, oh, we gotta we gotta work through this and let's both call our bullshit. And um, I'm gonna scoot over here. What are we not gonna focus on for Aries? Uh-huh, one more time. The Hierophant comes out with a Seven of Cups. Thank you, Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm gonna take a second and just look at this, Aries. Aries, it looks like you are actually being, now follow your gut. I'm just going to say right here, if this doesn't feel right, you are in charge of your future and you are in charge of your body and your mind and you follow your intuition. And tarot is just a vehicle for self-introspection and it does definitely have a woo-woo aspect of it, of sometimes just kind of, kind of diving in deeper than you expect, okay? That being said, follow your gut. What this reading is telling me is for those of you who are watching this video still, and this is resonating, it's very much saying work on this, just like the Oracle cards were suggesting, but you are, I feel that some of you are definitely getting noticed by others and you can feel it. And it's kind of throwing um, doubt in this relationship in the game or this um, this person, your person, it's throwing doubt into it. It's kind of like, uh, I don't think they see me the way that other people could see me. You know what I mean? Like there's an aspect of your relationship that you feel they take for granted or overlook and it's pissing you off and it's frustrating. And, um, what you're being called to do is take a look at this at the, at the problem of solving these problems, basically. These are two very different individuals. Let's stand back from this situation, Aries. This person in you, you operate differently. You operate, one of you operates from your head and the other operates from their heart. So right at its foundation, let's have a little respect for the fact that we're just all made different, right? So naturally somebody's going to show their love and they're going to interpret love differently in this picture. And that's why King of Swords is coming out because King of Swords is a no bullshit king. He kind of cuts through with his sword right down the heart, down to the heart of the situation and gets to the problem solving aspect of, of the situation. So you're being called to take a look at what fundamentally is wrong. What's going wrong with, I'm gonna get the other deck here, um, the picture there. Do a little shuffle on the lap. One more card for what to go towards for Aries and love. Ace of Cups, yeah. Aries, this person, this is a person I think but you already recognize them. Like this is a person that you've either had a falling out with, or you've been having struggling with them, or you've been even, you know, 
it's like one of those things where you go for a walk or you're trying to go to sleep at night and you're muttering to yourself, you're kind of frustrated or angry and stuff. And that's because there's some unresolved things here. But what more importantly, is because there's potential, there's new love here. And so for some of you, this is somebody you might not even know that well. For others of you, this is somebody you know very well, but either way, there is love behind that, those issues. There's fresh love behind those issues. Anything else? Thank you. Yep. Want more clarity on the three of swords? Oh my God, this is so clear. We've got the heartbreak card of the three of swords coming out next to the ace of cups, right? This is new love and then heartbreak card. And then in clarity to the heartbreak, we have the 10 of cups, which is like the happiest of happy endings. So please consider going forward and communicating with this individual if you feel that it's safe. Not all your scenarios may be safe, so please follow your, your gut on this one. What not to go towards, and this is an unsaid, of course, by now, but looking for commitments and, and um, looking for commitments elsewhere, really. Because I'll say this, Aries, the same thing that is running into that you're running into issues with with this person, regardless of what a different brain they have, you're gonna run into that with the next person too because some of these things are in you and they're gonna follow you in every relationship you're gonna go to but the beautiful thing is that you've got transformation here you have temperance this is alchemy this is like you know by going forward into your self introspection what you can do to solve the issues inside you and with your partner you've got love waiting there for you you know I'm excited for you Aries this is cool and we all hate self-work, but we all gotta do it, right? We gotta do it. Um, and I know that you're gonna kick ass. Okay, I love you, Aries. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Mwah.